So what's up guys, so I'm here again, made just as quick, uh, with another Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Um, as I said in my JAMA video, I've got my uh, Tele Psychic deck, which is the new archetype for Psychics, um, where it works on temporarily removing your monsters from the game to gain uh, special effects. Um, I finally got a chance to test this, it was ridiculously fun, as I thought it would be, so... Um, Again, this is another like super metagame kind of deck where it works on uh, um, getting synchros out really fast and beating down your opponent, but it also has a lot of the uh, um, the special psychic type uh, archetype kind of strategies. So we'll just get to it. Uh, I'll have two sacrifice monsters. I've got space time police. Uh, which is when it is special summon, you target one face of card, your opponent controls, banish it. And then when it leaves the field, you set that uh, card on your opponent's other field. So, you pretty much uh, remove him from play and use one of your many cards to special summon him. And then kind of put one of your opponent's monsters away. You know, probably a good strong one that you don't want out for a while. And then I've got Overdrive Teleporter, uh, which is when he's normal summoned, you can pay 2,000 life points to special summon two level 3 second monsters from your deck. It can only be used once while it's visible on the field. So it's a one-time kind of thing. Um, again, with the whole psychic archetype, 2,000 is nothing. So, uh, it's nothing to pay. And then usually, you know, he's uh, 6 stars, so you put him out, get a level 3 tuner and something else probably you know tune with another one usually when I have him um, I have already have another monster on the field so I'll do him and then I'll get two synchros out in one turn um, and then normal months well level four lowers got two silent psychic wizards uh, when he's normal summon you can select one psychic type monster in your graveyard remove from play and when he's sent from the graveyard special summon that removed from play monster. So that would be a good thing for space time police. And he's a uh, 1900 four star. Uh, zero defense, but it's still a really good uh, general beat stick, you know. And then uh, two hush psychic clerics. Uh, when he's normal summoned, uh, or flips when he changes defense position once returned, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to select one psychic type monster in your graveyard, remove from play. And this card is sent from the field to the graveyard. It's like one monster removed from play about this effect, special summon it. So again, it's another thing for space time police. Um, there's a couple of the uh, synchros in here that work well with that. And then silent psychic Wiz witch, serene psychic witch. That's the name of the card. Uh, when it is, it is the tutor. Um, I know I use that term a lot. The actual like tutor is, you know, there's old cards like Sangin, um, Mother Grizzly, stuff like that. Where when it's sent from the field of graveyard, you got to get a monster. Um, a lot of these newer cards I still call tutors, um, and they don't exactly follow that same thing, but they are still the tutors of a certain archetype. Um, but yeah, when it's sent, it's destroyed and sent from the field of the graveyard, you remove play one psychic monster, two thousand or less attack from your deck. During your next stamina phase, special summon the remove from play monster. So yeah, I've got two of those actually, and then um, I've got a lot of tuners in this deck. But I've got one Mental Seeker uh, when he when it is removed from play and special summon revealed top three cards in your opponent's deck. Choose one of those cards and remove it from play, and then shuffle the others into the deck. So you get a C. You pretty much get to get one card from your opponent and get rid of it, and he will be um, used a lot just removing him from play and special summoning him again. Um, it's really nice with the interdimensional amount of transporter because uh, I've used his effect at least five or six times in one duel. Um, yeah, well. And then I've got two Esper Girls. Um, again, uh, like with my Naturi deck, I like to build it or have a lot of options for um, tuning. So Mental Seeker is a three star. Uh, Esper Girl is a two star. Um, she is another one that deals with the uh, the RFG banish mechanic. Um, when she's removed from play and special summon, remove from play the top card of your deck. 
face down, and when it's sent from the field to graveyard, add, add that to your hand. So it's a pretty much a good free draw. Um, got a couple more just general tuners that are all psychic, have good effects on their own. Um, aside from DD Sprite, which uh, is not a psychic, she's a fairy, but uh, it works well with the, um, the mechanic. Uh, you can special summon it from your hand by remove from, removing from play one monster you control. Uh, and then um, you can return that remove from play monster to the field during the next standby phase. Um, the only thing with that is I'm not sure if that's actually considered a special summon. Uh, kind of a big, a little debate with it, but it's still really nice. It works well with the archetype. Um, as a lot of the others, mm, I think two of the uh, the synchros um, get more attack depending on how many you have to remove from play. And then I've just got one Mind Master. I really wish I could have more because he's freaking amazing, but uh, he's uh, limited to one. Um, one Star Tuner, and you can pay 8,800, not 8,000, and uh, tribute one second monster, and then special summon one level four or lower second monster from your deck. There's a lot of. He's really limited because there was a lot of um, abuse with that effect. And I've just got three Krebins. It's a good two star tuner, and um, you can pay 8,000 life points. If he's selected as an attack target to negate the effect. I need to stop saying that. It's only 800. Um, and then two psychic commanders. It's a good three star. And um, you can pay uh, life points multiples of 100, max 500 to uh, increase or decrease one of your opponent's monsters' attack by. Um, that amount until the end phase. And then just uh, kind of tuner support is um, Psy Beast. Uh, when it's normal summon you can remove from play one second monster you control from your deck and then his level becomes that so it helps a lot with um, getting some of the higher uh, synchros out. And then some RFG support I've got uh, two reinforced human psychic Borgs. It's a 1500 4 star but up to twice a turn you can remove from play one psychic monster from your graveyard to have it gain 500 attack forever. So he can snowball pretty well and he gets a lot of uh, psychic monsters in the RFG for you. And then two um, genetic womans, which once per turn you can pay a thousand life points and select one of your RFG monsters, psychic monsters, and add to your hand. So you kind of do a good recycle with all the monsters you're going to remove from play. And then just a good general psychic monster. Um, Psychic Snail, it's a 1900 4 star, and uh, you can pay 800 life points and uh, have one of your second type monsters be able to attack twice per turn. But then this cannot attack that turn. So you have a good beat stick, you pay that life, make it able to attack twice, and then you get that. Um, and then that's it for monsters. For spells, I've got one Psychic Path. Uh, Repay 800 life points and add two of your remove from play second monsters to your hand. Really nice. Again, with the whole archetype. Uh, two telekinetic power wells. It's a quick play spell. Um, select any number of level two or lower second type monsters and graveyards, but uh, special summon them and then you take damage equal to their total levels by 300, which is a very easy trade off. Uh, one. Um, brain Research Lab, which works well with um, a couple cards like uh, Overdrive Teleporter, stuff where you would pay a thousand or more. You just put a token on this, don't pay the life, and then when this is destroyed, you take damage equal to that. But I've got Rainbow Life in here, I'll show that later, where whenever you would take damage, you gain that amount of life instead. So it works out pretty well. Um, I've got two psychic field zones, which is a synchro from the different dimension, as people like to call it. Um, pretty much, you take two of your remove from play monsters, one psychic, and then one psychic tuner, return, return them to the graveyard, and then special summon a synchro monster from your extra deck and face up defense position. So, pretty much, again, you're going to have so many remove from play monsters, and this is just another easy synchro instead of actually having to have the monsters on the field. And then since again this is an RFG deck, 
uh, RFG deck Chaos Zone. Um, whenever a monster each time a monster is banished, you place a uh, counter on this. Monster turn, you can reform or counter this on the field. Uh, target one banished monster with level equal to number of counters and special summon it. And then when this is when this is sent to the graveyard, add the one light or dark monster from your deck to your hand whose level is equal then or less than the number of counters on this card. So um, there are a few light monsters in here. You know, the good one would be like DD Sprite, uh, Mind Master. I think those are actually the only light monsters in this entire deck. But those would be very nice to be able to search. Uh, Krabbins is also dark. So you're not going to get anything too big. But again, you hopefully you shouldn't have any counters on this one. This is destroyed, so that's just an extra bonus. Um, this one came out of the uh, the new dragon deck, where it has a lot of light and dark dragons and RFG and all that fun jazz. And then, uh, since you know, being an RFG deck, um, and it really works well with psychic archetypes since you're going to be paying a lot of life points. So absorption is whenever a card is removed from play, you gain 500 life points. So usually it stays up pretty well if your opponent um, isn't smart enough to get rid of it. Ugh. Throat's kind of hurting. Talking a lot. But yeah, it's a good life gain card. And then Miracle Synchro Fusion, because I've got um, who is he? Ultimate Axon Kicker, which is freaking amazing. It's a good beat stick. And with him, it works with any, I think, one second monster and one second synchro so yeah that works well with that and then uh, DDR which is just um, monster born from the different dimension and then mind control which I really like because uh, you can't tribute the monster but um, when you uh, use it for a synchro um, it's just sent to the graveyard so Take control of one of your post monsters for free, and then use it for a synchro. Very, very good. And for traps, um, I've got three draw power cards that work with this archetype. Uh, Psychic Overload. You um, select three psychic monsters you give it, return them to the deck free, and then you get two cards. And then Bright Future. You get two of your banished psychic monsters, um, return them to the graveyard, and then draw one card. And then Psychic Trigger, um, only for life points or lower than your opponents, which, again, it's a Psychic deck. You have hang a lot of life points, and you're, they will be lower than your opponents. Um, you select two of your Psychic Monsters from in your graveyard, and from play, and then draw two cards. So it's a good draw power kind of cards, and they all work together very well. You know, you get... Um, you know, you'll, you'll have a lot of them in your graveyard. You banish some. Draw some cards, return them to the graveyard, or draw some cards and return them to the deck. Draw some cards, so it's really good. Um, two past image, which uh, it's kind of like a Sekiro two armor. It just removes the monster. Um, if your opponent attacks one of your psychics, it removes the monster from the game until the next standby phase. So again, it works with the archetype very well, and that's really nice with soul absorption. Um, one brain hazard, which uh, selects one of your removed from play psychic monsters, which is really nice with um, miracle synchro fusion because you get one of your big synchros removed from play. Play this, and then it special summons the monster for free, and works like a call of the haunted. Um, two mind over matter, which is the general psychic negation card, uh, is tribute one psychic monster and negate the activation of spell trap or normal summon or special summon of a monster and destroy it. So anything but a monster's effect can be negated by tributing a psychic monster. Oh, I missed that. Actually, I actually had another brain hazard in there too. Um, and then two interdimensional matter transporters, which again works very well with the archetype. Just uh, remove one of your monsters from play until the next standby phase. Or until the end phase. So that works very well with like Mental Seeker and um, I guess space-time police would be very well. Yeah. And then Rainbow Life. Again, pretty much only here for Brain Research Lab to gain a good 
massive chunk of life points if your opponent destroys the card. And return from different dimension. Again, you're going to have a stack of removed from play monsters, and this could be very good for a one turn kill rush. Now we just have the extra deck. Um, again, I like to keep to a theme, so these are all psychics and work with the archetype well. But um, I have a good uh, space of stars. So I've got magical android, five star. Every turn you gain 600 life points, or every end phase you gain 600 life points. For each psychic monster you control. Uh, Life Trancer, who is a 7 star, so I don't have a 6 star in here, but it still works well. Um, you can remove from play 1 psychic monster per turn to gain 1200 life points. So again, it works. That's an older card. I, I, you know, I had a psychic deck before this, that was just a general psychic deck, beat down kind of thing, but uh, that works very well with the whole archetype. Um, Thought Relu Archivine, who is an 8 star, I think. Yep. Um, when it destroys a monster to the graveyard, gain life points equal to that monster's attack. And then you can pay 1,000 life points to negate the activation of a spell or trap that targets one psychic monster and destroy it. Uh, 2,700, 2,300. So it's a good life gain, beat stake um, negation. So it's very nice. Um, Overmind Archfiend, who is a 9 star. Yep. So it's 3,300 and 3,000 defense, um, but he takes two psychic type non-tuners. But once returned, you can select one psychic monster in your graveyard and remove from play, and then when he is sent to the graveyard, special summon as many monsters as possible that are removed from play by this effect. So it's kind of like a free return from a different dimension. You can get a good rush, or um, set yourself back up with a bunch of tuners and stuff uh, on the field to get more synchros. And then just a good, like, very nice general beat stick is um, psychic or hyper psychic blaster. Um, if you don't know the terms, and I like to use them all the time, he has trample and life tap, which are both magic gathering terms. But we, we use it. It's pretty much where he can um, he penetrates a defense position of the monster's defense and uh, deals the difference to your opponent's life points. And then life tap, as I like to call it, um, you gain any damage that is dealt as life points. So it's a 3,000, 9 star synchro with again trample and life tap. Just scary, ridiculous, you know. This is another one of the decks where I duel with friends and they just hate it. They try to shut down anything I do. And then again the the king of the deck is ultimate axon kicker. Beautiful thing. Uh, works with the uh, RFG mechanic, um, and he's like book. So excuse this. It's one psychic synchro and then one psychic type monster um, as a fusion. So that'll be miracle synchro fusion. Easy. Uh, when he is uh, blah, 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 cannot be special summoned. Uh, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Uh, during battle, uh, he has trample. So you inflict the defense. Uh, yeah, if it's a defense position monster, you can inflict the difference of the damage to your opponent's life points. And when it destroys a monster by battle, instead of the graveyard, you gain life points equal to the destroyed monster's attack. So it's got the trample from Hyper Psychic Blaster, and then the um, not it's not exactly life tap, but it's got the same effect from um, uh, Thought Really Arch Fiend. And it's a 2900, 1700. But with Hyper Psychic, or Hyper Miracle Synchro Fusion, um, he's a good, free, easy summon. So, anyway, that's the deck. Um, oh, wow, I got past 20. I'm getting on 20 minutes, so I need to hurry this up. But yeah, that's pretty much the deck. Um, I don't have anything else really to show off. I've got a Blackwing deck, but it's nothing special, so. Um, I'm actually thinking about taking it apart. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's really it. Um, I don't have any other decks, really. If I ever get my Anki deck together, that will be my next one. But anyway, this is Suam again. See you in another video. Thank you very much for watching. And hopefully seeing this whole 20 minutes, I know it was a lot of talk. But anyway, see you in another video. Bye.